The peace of God be with you all. Thank you. Please be seated. And I would like to ask who presents this woman to be married to this man? How you do? Please present her. We've come today to celebrate love. We see it in the faces of Keith and Veronica who stand before us, but we experience it in our own hearts as well. This love is powerful enough to untie the strong and tangled knot of life. It is a love which is spoken in all religions, which kindles our souls with hope, and which is our true home and meeting place. Keith and Veronica have opened their hearts to one another, and today in just a few moments we share their vows of marriage together. We're deeply grateful to them for opening their hearts to us as well, inviting us to witness and share in this precious moment. To this day, they bring the fullness of their being as a treasure to share with one another. Their marriage is being entered into reverently with a recognition of a true union which has been discovered. For what greater joy is there for two human souls than to join together, to strengthen each other in all their endeavors, to support each other through all sorrow, and to share with each other in all gladness. We hope that the words and spirit of our gathering may be filled with the truth that will deepen with the passing years. We hope, too, that the meaning of the vows that Keith and Veronica are about to share with one another will deepen as well as they discover the endless possibilities of this life together. Mm -hmm. This is a love which need not be tarnished by common events, but which can flower both in deepest adversity and in greatest joy. As the years go by, you will find more and more in one another a loveliness which neither comes nor goes which neither flowers nor fades, no longer even taking the form of face or hand or words or knowing. Everything in your marriage can partake of this mysterious beauty beyond beauty until wherever you turn you see the reflections of its loveliness. We ask that the vision you have of one another may be always informed by that radiant power which first brought you together. Love is stronger than your conflicts, bigger than life's changes. The miracle always inviting you to learn, to blossom, and to expand. It is to love that you must always return. <clears throat> Out of two different and distinct traditions, they've come together to learn the best of what each has to offer, appreciating their differences, and confirming that being together is far better than being apart from one another. Keith and Veronica have asked us to be a part of this celebration of their love for each other, and it is with great joy and reverence that we all take part. They seek to continue to the commitment which does not begin today, but which began in wonder some time ago when they found each other and fell in love. There are many stages and kinds of commitment among persons in our culture, but this one is the deepest and the most sacred that comes out of a clear choice of two people. It is said that love is the communication of the good life, when we find a person who communicates the good life to us and whose answering resonance tells us that we've been sharing something significant together, then we make a decision to continue sharing permanently. Keith and Veronica have found much to share and much to enrich their lives together. <laughs> and now I charge you both as you stand in this high moment of your lives to remember that love and loyalty alone will stand as the foundation of a happy and enduring home. If the vows you are taking are kept, your life together will be full of joy and peace, and the home which you make shall abide through every unknown future. In this new life together, I counsel you to recall ever anew the thrill of your early love. Cherish always the visions and hopes you have this day, and let them not be tarnished by common events or routine habit. Believe in your ideals for this marriage and diligently pursue them and they shall indeed become realities. I charge you both to give of yourselves freely and deeply and generously, ever recalling the words of the poet who said, Love ever gives, forgives, but lives, and ever stands with open hands. And while it lives, it gives, for this is love's prerogative, to give and give and give. I further charge you to understand and constantly strengthen the spiritual basis of your love recognizing that it is the most precious of all God's gifts to you 
and must be nurtured until it attains the state of perfect love, which is intended by God for all people. Keep ever before you the words of the New Testament. Beloved, let us love one another, for love is of God. If we love one another, God dwells in us, and in us shall his love be perfected. And finally, I charge you both to keep your minds and hearts open to the inner working of his spirit, that your love for one another may become as his love is for us, full and complete in every way. Keith, will you have Veronica to be your wife, to live together in the covenant of marriage? Will you love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health, in sorrow and in joy, and forsaking all others, be faithful to her as long as you both shall live? I will. <clears throat> Veronica, will you have Keith to be your husband, to live together in the covenant of marriage? Will you love him? comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health, in sorrow and in joy, and forsaking all others, be faithful to him as long as you both shall live. I will. The marriage of Keith and Veronica has called us together because this union touches each one of us. A new family is established in our midst, and we celebrate that relationship with the bride and the groom. Will you who are family and friends of this couple affirm your continuing support and love to Keith and Veronica as they grow in their marriage? Will you also offer to them the best of your care and counsel in their times of struggle and your celebration with them in their times of joy? If so, please respond to we will. We will. Thank you. Our first reading will be read by Carolina. Mm -hmm. The art of a good marriage. Happiness in marriage is not something that just happens. A good marriage must be created. In a marriage, the little things are the big things. It is never being too old to hold hands. It's remembering to say, I love you. Mm -hmm. At least once a day. It is never going to sleep angry. It is a no time taking the other for granted. The courtship should not end with a honeymoon. It should continue through the years. It is having mutual sense of values and common objectives. It is standing together facing <laughs> the world. It is forming a circle of love that gathers the whole family. It is doing things for each other not in the attitude of duty or sacrifice, but in the spirit of joy. It is speaking words of appreciation and demonstrating gratitude in thoughtful ways. It is not looking for perfection in each other. It is cultivating flexibility, patience, understanding, and sense of humor. It is having the capacity to forgive and forget. It is giving each other an atmosphere in which each can grow old. It is common search for the good and the beautiful. It is establishing a relationship in which the independence is equal. Dependence is mutual and the obligation is reciprocal. It is not only marrying the right partner, it is being the right partner. Mm -hmm. Thank you. <clears throat> and now our second reading will be read by Julieta. <laughs> Love one another. Love one another, but make not a bond of love. <clears throat> Let it rather be a moving sea between the shores of your souls. Fill each other's cup, but drink not from one cup. Give one another of your bread, but eat not from the same loaf. Sing and dance together and be joyous. 
but let each one of you be alone. Even as the strings of a lute are alone through the quiver with the same music. Keep your hat, keep your hearts, but not into each other's keeping. For only the hand of life can contain your hearts and stand together, yet not too near together. For the pillars of the temple stand apart, and the oak tree and the cypress grow not in each other's shadow. Thank you. <clears throat> and now because of the love you share and the assurance that no moral or legal barrier hinders your union, will you repeat your vows after me? Keith, you first. I, Keith, take you, Veronica, as my wife. I, Keith, take you, Veronica, as my wife. I will be true to you. I will be true to you. In good times and in bad times. In good times and in bad times. I will honor you and love you. I will honor you and love you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. <laughs> Veronica. I, Veronica, take you, Keith, as my husband. I, Veronica, take you, Keith, as my husband. I will be true to you. I will be true to you. In good times and in bad times. In good times and in bad times. I will honor you and love you. I will honor you and love you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. Got the ring, please. Thank you. Thank you. <coughs> You've indicated that you desire to seal your marriage vows by exchanging rings. The ring serves as a symbol of the vows you have just spoken. It is the outward sign of an inward and invisible love which binds your hearts together. As it is of Earth's finest materials, so your love is at the richest spiritual values. As it is made without edge or seam, so it symbolizes the perfection of the love that cannot end. Father, bless the rings to be a visible sign of the vows made here, that each who gives a ring and each who wears one may be ever reminded of their promises, ever more living and growing in the spirit of your love. Amen. Keith, if you'll take her ring, place it on her left hand, okay. and left finger, and repeat after me. Veronica, as a symbol of my love for you. Veronica, as a symbol of my love for you and my commitment to you and my commitment to you throughout our lives throughout our lives I give you this ring I give you this ring Amen. like it his left hand and left finger and his left Keith as a symbol of my love for you Keith, as a symbol of my love for you. And my commitment to you. And my commitment to you. Throughout our lives. Throughout our lives. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. The, the flame has traditionally been thought of as a symbol of the spirit. Keith and Veronica, you've learned much in your individual lives. Your mothers are both here to bless your marriage, and it is fitting that they have lit the two individual candles. For it is they who brought you life and taught you your first lessons about love. Your other family memories, members, friends, and many of whom are here today, have all been part of your individual lives and have shared with you your hopes, your dreams, your triumphs, and your sufferings. But at some point, the two of you met one another and something started growing between you that was not just Keith, and not just Veronica. There's a special way you are together that's not like with any you've ever been with before. You have a way of sharing with each other, of laughing and joking, <laughs> that's unlike with anyone else. That special love you felt for one another continued to grow, bringing you to this moment when you are committing your love to one another and building a life together. As the flame you're about to light is not created solely by either candle, so too is your love not the sole possession or creation of either of you. 
as a symbol of the spirit of love that has grown between you, we'd like to ask you to step over and light the center candle. Now you will feel no rain, for each of you will be sheltered to the other. Now you will feel no cold, for each of you will be warmth to the other. Now there is no loneliness for you. Now there is no more loneliness. Now there is no more loneliness. Now you are two persons, but there is one life before you. Go now to your dwelling place to enter into the days of your togetherness. And may your days be good and long upon the earth. Give to one another new experiences of joy. Challenge one another so you may grow. May the love you hold for each other continue to mature with the passing years. And may you never take each other for granted, but always experience the wonder of your union. Be slow to anger, quick to forgive, leaving no tracks of resentment behind each day. May your love consist not only in gazing into each other's eyes, but in looking outward in the same direction. May your life together be a source of strength and inspiration to yourselves, your families, your friends, and to all whose lives you touch. Amen. Amen. Keith and Veronica, you've consented together to marriage before this company, pledged your faith, and declared your unity by each giving and receiving a ring. And as you are now joined together in mutual esteem and devotion, it is my privilege to pronounce you husband and wife. <laughs> Keith, you may kiss your bride. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm happy to introduce to you mm -hmm. Mr. and Mrs. Keith and Veronica mm -hmm. Lisenby. Sombra y entre su 